everyone, and welcome to Bookish Babbles, the podcast where we sometimes talk about our favorite books and reread them. Or wait, is it reread our favorite books and talk about the? Uh, I've forgotten my own intro, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, we're yeah. We this is the podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about uh, reread our favorite books and talk about them. I got it. Anyway, uh, but lately it's been just random, whatever random fun things we want to do because um, I still want to talk about the Mockingjay movies with my friends, but it is very hard to um, get people together to do things, <laughs> especially when we all live in various states across the country uh, because, you know, we're adults with things to do. And it's one of the hazards of li- of life. But you know what? Um, we should never go back to 2020, obviously, because, you know, pandemic that was um, kind of interrupting people's lives, to say the least. Um, we should never go back to that. One of the very, very few bright sides of that was the fact that pretty much every night all my friends were available to hang out over zoom you know that's <laughs> if if i was ever gonna start a podcast with my friends it should have been then what was i thinking whatever um the point is i am getting my friends together eventually so we can talk about uh the mocking jay movies and so i can um just be in denial about the fact that i'll be done talking about the hunger Games series eventually until november when ballad of songbirds and snakes movie comes out then we're back on this again but anyway so until then um, we're just doing fun things, mostly book tags, but today I wanted to mix it up and do something kind of simple and fun. So we're all aware of uh, Fuck, Mary Kill, or I'm doing the PG version, uh, Kiss, Mary Cliff, because that title has to go on the title of the episode. And this, and uh, let's, let's just say my grandmother sometimes looks at my podcast episodes. Hi, Grandma! I don't want to scare her with the title. I love you! Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, speaking of my grandma, weird side tangent, um, so my grandma recently read the entirety of the Anne of Green Gable series, and I'm currently reading it right now, and I am loving it so much, and I'm finally watching season three of Anne with an E. That show, I swear, every single episode, the goal is make Allison cry. That's just, that's just it. That's Anne of, that's Anne, the show Anne with an E, make Allison cry. Um, but anyway, I'm on Anne of Windy Poplars right now, which is book four. There goes a the car. Um, for my from what I'm getting, I'm getting um, from read like reading reviews, and is that Windy Poplars like book four seems to be like not a very beloved book in the series, which I don't get because I really enjoy it. Like I agree, it's not Anne of the Island, which apart from book one is my favorite. Um, but like Windy Poplars, I'm I really like it. I love I really like Rebecca Dew. I love Anne, you know, adopting little Elizabeth. Um, and I love reading all her love letters uh, to Gilbert. Like it's so good. I don't get why it's the least popular. And plus, um, very very first world problem book lover first world problem guys. But so when I got the series, I got of course the uh, mass market paperback because that's the easiest one to get i bought it over christmas with some gift card money and it wasn't my birthday the point is i use gift card money to buy it that's not details not as important but the mass market paperback series was the easiest to get but i want like the normal size paperback uh series to matt to like look good on my bookshelf and I finally found one, but it took a long time because I couldn't find a complete set of the series with every single book. And for some reason, Windy Poplars, I don't even think I'm saying this right, but Windy Poplars seemed to be the hardest to find them to match the rest of the series. And I don't get it. Like, why is this book doesn't, why does it not seem like this book is loved? Anyway, we're playing Kiss Mary Cliff. That's the point of this episode, guys, which is, you know, fairly straightforward. I have names in the uh, name drawing hat app that I downloaded on my iPad. And um, I wrote down a bunch of fictional character names. Some come from books, uh, movies, TV shows, just a bunch of fictional characters I felt like throwing in there. A lot of them are, quite a few of them are Star Wars because um, 
I am very fixated on Star Wars right now, so woohoo! Anyway, yes, yeah, so let's just uh, dive into this. We'll see um, how chaotic, fun, and or uh, torturous it will be for me to make these decisions of who I'm going to kiss, who I'm going to marry, and who I will push off a cliff. This will... Wish me luck, guys. Okay. Wait, can I... P- oh, guys, I'm discovering on this one... Um, Oh, I can edit the amount of names that get drawn at once. Okay, uh, three names. There we go. This is cool. Ah, don't fall. Dropping my iPad, it's fine. All right, we'll draw the first three names. Oh, no! Why? Already this is hard. Okay, we have Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. Shit, I love him. Um... We have Mr. Darcy and Kanan Jarrus. No. I, lo- I love all of them. Fuck. Uh, mm, mm. Uh. Okay, because I don't want to kill any of them. Um, I'm Sarah, don't hate me, but I'm pushing Howl off the cliff only? Only because out of all of them... He can survive because he can turn into a bird flying creature thing. So if I push Howl off a cliff, he'll be fine. I can just be like, hey, yo, Howl, can I, uh, can, do you mind if I just push you off this cliff? Because, you know, you have the best chance of survival. He'd be down for it. And he'd be like, yeah, cool, whatever. And he'd just fly and go back home to Sophie. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, mm. next, uh, okay, I'll kiss Kanan because um I really love him and Hera together and I don't want to take him away from Hera and I'll marry Mr. Darcy because not only is he great um he he's he's rich so that always helps that's just a bonus though okay draw again let's do this oh <laughs> okay good we got an easy cliff guys so our options are Will Harrendell Luke Skywalker and Umbridge. Okay, so we're obviously uh, cliffing Umbridge. Fuck her. Um, I'm going to kiss Luke Skywalker uh, and marry Will Harrendale because um, he's also a book nerd. I love Luke. I love Luke, too, and he'd be a good partner. But um, Will is a Will and I can talk books and read books together. And that's just the best thing ever. OK, I like. OK, we're, we're good. This is better than the last one. Okay, draw again. Who else we got here? Okay, oh no. Okay, we have Charlotte Fairchild from the Infernal Devices series. Highly underrated character. Um, Vision and Emmett Cullen. Ooh. Um, well, the good news is Vision can fly. Emmett is a vampire. So if I push either of them off the cliff, they'd be okay. Um, uh, you see, I... See, I'll I'll kiss Vision because I'm scared to go near uh, Emmett because I think Rosalie will uh, will you know um, make sure I don't continue breathing. Um, and I'm marrying Charlotte Fairchild because she is an awesome. Because she she again she would be a fantastic partner and she's consul of the sh- of the Shadow Hunters so she 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 would have a nice place to live. I could she could afford me a nice house with a nice library so. Uh, that's uh, that's all I want. That's a partner who can set me up with a giant in-home library. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. This wasn't good. Next. Uh, once again, Umbridge. Ooh. So we got Umbridge, Hunter, and Edward Cullen. Oh, God. Uh. So, yeah, we're obviously cliffing Umbridge. Um, I'm going to kiss Edward. Uh, won't be. It'll be a very cold kiss, quite literally. And I'm marrying Hunter from the Bad Batch, cause I love him, and I would, and I would adopt, and I would also adopt Omega as my little sister in a heartbeat. So this works out really well. Uh, you know, I would also inherit. I would also get some roommates because he's not leaving the rest of his squad. But whatever. I love all of them. So this works out. This is a good one, guys. Okay, next. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> Will and Edward just showed up again. Okay, so we go. Will, Harrendale, Edward Cullen, and Evelyn Hugo from the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So again, I am marrying Will because you know 
book nerds. Uh, I'm kissing Evelyn because she's a fascinating character. I love that book, but I definitely would not want her as a partner. And I'm cliffing Edward Cullen because he he'll, he'll be fine. He can survive. And I don't want to put up with this bullshit. All right, draw again. Okay, next we got Howl. Sejana Splint and Hermione Granger. Okay. Once again, Howell, uh, you have the I don't wanna I don't want any of you to die. So Howell, you have the best chance of <laughs> surviving if I push you off a cliff. So you'll be fine. Um I'm gonna give Sejanus a kiss. I love him, but he's also really melodramatic and I don't think I could put up with him for long. Uh so I'm marrying Hermione Granger. Because again, we can bond over books. It's a, it'll be a great time. <laughs> okay. And again, doo -doo -doo. ooh, okay, we have Magnus Bane, Tony Stark, and Voldemort. Ooh, mm. so obviously we're cliffing Voldemort. Fuck him. Um, who do I want to marry, Magnus or Tony? Yeah, I'll marry Tony Stark and I'll kiss Magnus. That works. Okay, next is Cressida from Mockingjay, Sejanus again from Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and Ginny Weasley. Oh no, I love, uh, shit, I don't think any of them have, if I push any of them off a cliff, they won't survive. Oh no, unless, unless, um, I make sure Ginny has her broomstick when I push her off the cliff. So she'll be fine, like. I don't know. I, I could dare her to do it. She'll be fine. I'll be like, hey, Ginny, jump off that cliff with your broomstick and fly. And she'll be like, yeah, whatever. I'll do it. <laughs> so I do want to marry Ginny, but I don't want Sejanus or Cressida to die. So yeah, Ginny will have to go off the cliff with her broomstick so she'll survive and then go home to and then go to Quidditch practice because she's a professional Quidditch player in the future and then go home to her loving husband. Okay, <clears throat> and I'll marry Cressida, because uh, she, she's a filmmaker, she's an artist. We can bond over our love for the arts, and again, kissing Sejanus, so Sejanus, you're doing fine. All right. All right, next. Oh, Cressida. Cressida again. Oh, no, Sejanus Plinth and Charlie Swan. Oh, no. Oh, no. None of them can survive the cliff. Fuck, no. Hold on, I need to sip my water. Ugh, this is bullshit. How do I pick? Ugh. Okay, um... Mm. <sighs> okay, uh... I guess I'm cliffing... Oh, I feel... I feel horrible. I feel horrible. No, no one hate me for this. I... I'm gonna cliff Sejanus? Oh, shit. I feel like a horrible person. But I only say that because Sejanus is also kind of low-key desperate to martyr himself, so he would do it. Anyway, ah, uh, fuck, I'm horrible. Okay, so yeah, we're cliffing Sejanus. Um, I'm marrying Cressida, and I'm kissing Charlie Swan, because why not? I love you, Charlie, but I don't want to get dragged into all the drama your daughter brings. <laughs> I'm not marrying into that. Okay, next one, next uh, combination... Okay, oh, we got Sam Wilson, Will Harrendell, and Tony Stark. Okay, um, I mean, Sam has his, his Falcon wings, and Tony has his Iron Man suit, so they're fine. Um, so you know what, Tony, uh, you do get on my nerves a lot sometimes. As much as I love you, you do get on my nerves. So just this one time, I'm pushing you off the cliff. Um, I'll, ki I'll kiss Sam, because who doesn't want to... Uh, who doesn't want to say that they've kissed Captain America? And and obviously we're still marrying Will Harrendell because, again, we're book nerds. You keep showing up a lot in these random drawings. I have, like, 30 names on here, Will. <laughs> Apparently Will really wants to be with me, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, again. Sam Wilson, Evelyn Hugo, and Voldemort. Oh, good. We got an easy cliff. So, Voldemort, you're out. Um, I'm kissing Evelyn Hugo because, again... Um, she would not make a very good partner, and obviously I'm marrying Sam Wilson. Again, I can be Mrs. Captain America. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, 
And again, right there. Okay, and again, Charlotte Fairchild, Lucy Gray Barrett, and Hermione. No. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I don't like this, guys. Can I stop playing now? Uh, okay, uh, Hermione, only reason she can go off the cliff is because Ginny will catch her with the broomstick. I have faith there. Uh, Ginny's gonna come save her girlfriend. Okay. Uh, and then I'll kiss Lucy Gray and marry Charlotte because she would be the best partner out of all of these guys. Uh, sh- I'm sorry, Hermione. Don't worry. Ginny's coming to save you. Okay. How many of these should I do? Maybe a few more. Okay, next we have Gideon Lightwood from the Infernal Devices. Also an extremely underrated character in the Shadowhunter books. Also, he is one half of one of my favorite couples that is, again, so underrated. Him and Sophie, I love them so much. Okay, but anyway, Gideon. And then we have Satine Kreese from Clone Wars. And Jasper Hale. Okay, obviously, Battle Scar's Confederate guy's going over the cliff. He'll be fine. Um, okay, in between Gideon and Satine, who do I want to marry? Um, okay, I love Satine, but she is the leader of an entire planet and tends to have a lot of attempts against her life, and that would probably extend to her partner as well so I wouldn't want to be her partner because then my life would be in constant danger as much as I love her and unlike Obi-Wan I can't defend myself from attacks so I'm only gonna kiss Satine and I'm marrying Gideon Lightwood Woo. okay next one okay we got Sally Jackson Tony Stark and Charlie Swan again Tony you have the Iron Man suit you can survive going off that cliff. So, Tony's going off the cliff. Um, again, I'm just going to kiss Charlie because I don't want to be dragged into the drama uh, his daughter brings. And I'm marrying Sally Jackson because um, she's the best. Even though, you know, um, her son also brings drama. Um, I don't mind putting up with that drama. <laughs> Anyway, uh, ne- next one. Okay, we got Sophie Hatter from Howl's Moving Castle, Lucy Gray Barrett, and Edward Cullen. Obviously, Edward's going off the cliff. Don't even feel bad about it. Um, okay, between Lucy and Sophie, who do I want to marry? Yeah. I'll kiss Sophie because I don't want to take her away from Howl. He loves her so much, and... You guys are marrying Lucy Gray, which is fine by me. Um, she and I can play music together in our downtime. As long as, you know, um, her ex, Coriolanus, or Billy doesn't come around. Because th- those two bring a lot of a lot of drama. And I wouldn't want to put up with either of them. Okay. And next we have Sam Wilson, Will Arendell, and Hunter from The Bad Batch. Oh my god. Um... I feel bad, Sam, but you have falcon wings. You'll be fine. You can you can fly, Sam. So I'm so sorry. You have to go off the cliff. Uh, and then, hmm, I love Hunter and Will, and I love being and I would love being part of both their families. So, however, however, Will do, Will does come with the library. So I'm sorry, Hunter. So, sorry, Hunter, I know I said I'd marry you last time you showed up on these things. But um, I'm going to give you a kiss. And then I'm marrying Will Harrendale. And again, he keeps showing up. Will clearly wants to be with me, guys. I, I'm sorry, Tessa. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, we have Jim Halpert from The Office. Thanos and Vision. Okay, then. Um, Obviously, Thanos is going off the cliff. And as long as... And I'm pretty sure as long as he doesn't have any Infinity Stones on him, he can't fly. So he's definitely going to, you know, splat when he hits the ground. And you know what? After what he did to Gamora, karma! Karma's a bitch, and you deserve it. So fuck you, Thanos. Um, 
between Jim and Vision, who do I want to marry? Um, I'll marry Vision and kiss Jim Halpert because I love you, Jim, but I don't want you starting a business in Philly without telling me. Can't risk that. <laughs> All right. I know I said I do two, two more. Like I do like three more, like five turns ago. But I mean it. I should really stop after two because the same people keep popping up. Uh, will. All right. Again, Sam keeps showing up. Okay, so we got Sam Wilson, Darth Maul, and Hermione Granger. Okay, Hermione, you're definitely not going off the cliff this time. Darth Maul, you are going off the cliff. I'm sorry, you're one of the best characters in Clone Wars, but you are obviously going off the cliff. Um, I'm kissing Sam and I'm marrying Hermione. There you go, Hermione. Okay, last one. Drum roll. Let's make it a good one. Sally Jackson, Luke Skywalker, and Saw Gerrera. Fuck yes, Saw Gerrera's going off that cliff. You know, if you've seen the season two uh, finale of Bad Batch, you know Saw Gerrera deserves this. So yes, fuck Saw Gerrera. He's going off that cliff. Um, I'm kissing Luke Skywalker and marrying Sally Jackson. Okay, yeah, this is this is the best way to end it because I don't want to um, risk anything tragic any other tragic combination happening seriously guys it was painful pushing Hermione and Ginny off the cliffs because those are my two favorite characters in the Harry Potter series also a PSA reminder JK Rowling still sucks as a person that's all I'll say about that but anyway um thank you for listening I hope you got some entertainment out of my suffering plant as i tried to decide which fictional characters to push off cliffs um i'm aiming for next week for us to talk about mocking jay but movies with my friends but who knows what'll happen so thank you all for bearing with me um socials in the show notes yada yada you know the drill um hope you all have a great uh day slash oh and by the way i almost forgot um over the weekend was marathon weekend if anyone who's listening ran in the boston marathon y'all are a super real life superheroes (laughs) that's incredible and my dad and brother also ran a marathon in new hampshire so good job dad and brady uh you're how dare you be show-offs anyway um thank you all for listening hope you all have a good day slash night and i'll talk to you next time bye